half a condo today is selling for two hundred seventy-five thousand to four hundred thousand. So it's very important to understand the cycle, the area, and so on. You know, nowadays when I buy a condo, I don't even sell it; just keep it because it's got to go up. People tell me, "Hey, you put ten thirty one exchange," but I don't need to. I just keep it. You know, every day I can count. Oh, I own this one. I own that one. I own that one. Right? Be happy. So it's very simple. So if you look at every area is different. I, I want to show you this one too before I go. No, I want to show you this curve, okay? Because uh, what happened is we're talking. You saw the curve I showed you it was medium price houses, right? It goes up very slowly, but Hawaii is different because we deal with a uh, uh, resort property. It's very volatile. It goes up, go down, goes up, go down, goes up, go down. You know, what's the girl that came from Maui? Anyone from Maui? Huh? You know, any resort property, you you have to study the multiple listing. You have to study Zillow. You have to study Redfin and understand our prices because you can always pick a good price on anything. For example, when the market is up. You know, you don't buy it, but it's always peak. When it's peak, that's why I pick it up. You know, so I can buy a lot of property when I can predict the market is going to crash, and the market will crash. Don't say it's not going to crash. I remember uh, way back 30 years ago, this guy was saying that I make a lot of money in the stock market. Everything was going up. Everything was going up. And then one day, bang, went down. Almost 50%. It will crash.